Hey folks, it's uh, Chris here from chrisoutdoors.ca and thehuntersjourney.com uh, with a, a hunting tip for beginner hunters trying to figure out how to find deer in uh, open woodland habitat, or I shouldn't say open woodland habitat, but large woodland habitats. Uh, I just had an awesome experience. I had a beautiful doe under me for about 20 minutes. Um, could have taken the shot many times. You can see from the, the camera angle there that I have on her. Uh, I decided to pass her up. She just looked, looked a little on the small side. But I wanted to chat about why I set up in the spot that I did. So I'm up in an oak tree right now, um, hunting out of a uh, saddle. Uh, I'm in the Eberhardt Signature Saddle, uh, and I'm hunting with the crossbow today. And the reason I picked the spot, so I'm at the north end of a big long ridge. Um, and the wind is blowing out of the south today. So this is a perfect place for the deer to come up and bed on this north part of the, the um, ridge here because they can basically smell anything coming uphill there. It's also a great place for me to be because my scent is kind of blowing off over the ridge here and it's gonna be really hard for anything to pinpoint me. Um, and interesting enough, that doe that just came in on me, she basically came in uh, downwind of me uh, and didn't, didn't pick up my smell, which means I'm high enough and with the ridge, my smell just blew right over top of her. Now, how do you set up in a spot like this, though? Because um, the deer can literally walk anywhere. You know, if, you, if I spin around here, it's just nothing but woods in any direction. So how do you set up in a spot where you have a higher than normal likelihood of actually getting a shot? Well, you want to find funnel and pinch points, uh, which you got to think about that a little bit different in these big landscapes. So why I pick this spot, if you go uh, straight to the north of me, um, probably about a quarter of a kilometer down that way, there's actually a road and there's a house down in there. And then directly behind me, there's actually right in there, um, there's a big blowdown section. So it's not easy for deer to actually walk through there. And then it drops down on the steep ridge there. And then between me and the road, um, if I look right through, let's see, can't quite see it here, but kind of down in there, there's basically a little valley that drops down to a little pond. So what we have is a bit of a pinch point in between that valley and the pond and this blowdown section here. So deer are unlikely to travel uh, too close to the house, which means anywhere they come off of the hillside here, they're probably gonna cut on the south side of this valley. They might drop right through the valley, but they'll probably just kind of cut on the south side of it. And if they're coming up from that way, same kind of thing, they're likely to come just on the edge of this little blowdown area. And once they get to there, they kind of have two choices. They can either fan out and go basically anywhere into the woods over there, or they can kind of curve around this way and run the top of the ridge. So I basically set up right here on the hopes that deer would come up. And if they curve, curve to the right, um, they're gonna come right underneath me here. And sure enough, uh, that's what this beautiful doe did today. So anyways, there's a little uh, hunting tip for you on finding good spots in these larger woodland habitats. Um, if you are looking for a mentor to help you, if you're a beginner hunter or someone that's just getting going and you would like a mentor to help support you in your journey, you might want to check out what we're doing over at www.thehuntersjourney.com. All right, everybody. Happy tracking.